It's been a big fortnight for Tavita Pangai Jr. Bikies, COVID bubble breaches and an indefinite NRL suspension. The Brisbane Broncos enforcer joins us now. Tavita, where do things stand between yourself and the Broncos? Um, not too sure legally, but um, you know, I know where I want to be. I want to be at the uh, Brisbane Broncos and uh, playing for uh, this club. Talk us through the bikies, the barbershop, that decision. Tell us what happened that day. Uh, obviously, I made the uh, wrong choice. I put the game at risk. Uh, you know, I have no association to any uh, bikey game. Uh, obviously, I was invited to to go down there and um, show my support. Obviously, my friend goes there for a haircut and I uh, just made the poor choice to go. And, uh, you know, I've made the wrong decision. Um, you now I put the game at risk and a lot of lives at risk. And uh, it was a poor decision by me, but I made my decision. I put my hand up and uh, I can, just can believe that I'll do the right thing now and uh, work it towards that. You knew you were breaching the COVID bubble rules, didn't you? Yeah, I knew I was um, breaking the rule. Um, I, I admitted that in my NRO Integrity Unit uh, meeting. Uh, you know, I've admitted to I'm um, doing the wrong thing, um, breaking protocol. And, you know, as a member of the leadership group, I uh, needed to be better and, um, you know, working working hard to do the right thing now. And, uh, you know, I've stayed home the last uh, 13 days and I'm trying to do the right thing. How many other times have you broken COVID rules, Tavita? Uh, I did a few times. I admitted that in my uh, interview with the NRO Integrity Unit, you know, that I've been doing the wrong thing. I've taken it for granted, um, you know, when this pandemic um, first broke out. Do you feel like you want to continue to play under Anthony Seabold? Um, you know, that's not my decision. Um, you know, that's, that's uh, Paul White's and Kyle Morris's um, decision. Um, you know, he's got a contract with the Broncos, as do I, and um, he's obviously gone for a tough time, but, um, you know, I hope we more, wish him all the best. Have you heard from him? since you've been suspended? No, I haven't heard from him, but, you know, that's understandable. Um, you know, he's gone through a tough time with his family and, uh, you know, obviously I've met his wife and met his two daughters and he's had me over for dinner a few times and, uh, you know, I'm just uh, he's got his own issues and, uh, you know, I just wish him all the best with, his, with the time that he's gone through. You haven't spoken to the coach, Anthony Seabold, but you have spoken to Darren Lockyer. Why is that? Um, you know, I've obviously built a relationship with Lockie, being in the leadership group, he's trying to help us along. Obviously, we have a young team. Um, you know, he's trying to help me to stay on the field with my um, competitiveness and um, playing within the rules. So what's the next step for you and the Broncos now, Tavita? Uh, obviously, I've got to um, wait for my breach notice to come through and then um, most likely have to face the board and, um, you know, Show them um, that I want to start the club, you know, the club that I love that's given me an opportunity to play in the NRL and um, fulfill my dream as a kid. Why should the Brisbane Broncos give you another shot? Uh, just, you know, I feel like I've, you know, I'm owning my actions, I've done the wrong thing, but, um, you know, I feel like I can um, fulfill my potential. You know, this is the first time I've I um, breached my NRL contract and, uh, and I feel like I deserve another shot. Uh, but it's out of my hands, you know, I can only control what I can control and that's doing the right thing and I'm um, trying to stay on the football field and, yeah. With all due respect, I love the way you play, but you're a risk taker, you're a rule breaker. How do we know that you're not going to go and break these rules again? You've done it before. Oh, I've, I've gone through a tough time, you know, I've, you know, I've been in... Um, isolation, um, you know, my parents are disappointed in me and, um, you know, I've really gone for a tough time, but, um, you know, I can guarantee you that I won't do it again. What does rugby league mean to your life? What's the game given you, Tavita? You know, I owe the game a lot uh, for giving me an opportunity to come out. You know, I grew up in housing commission and um, rent house to house and, um, you know, it's given me an opportunity to get out of that. And, um, you know, I just want to be a better role model got a little brother that um, lives with me and uh, I just want to do right by him and set a better example for him. All right. I know you're going through a tough time. We appreciate you joining us tonight. All the best for the rest of your suspension and isolation and good luck with getting back on the field soon. Uh, 
Thank you. I uh, appreciate the time.